Okay, this video is going to be really hard for me to uh, compose because this video is about King Kong versus Godzilla. I mean, uh, Godzilla versus Kong. And this is basically about some uh, some sort of thing that I've uh, realized I've uh, come across since last year, ever since the movie came out, or at least the first trailer dropped. And uh, this is particularly what I consider my fault because of uh, ever since the monsterverse began. And uh, I wouldn't say uh, it was intentional either, because I was just suffering a lot back then. And uh, Legendary had. Uh, I'm not going to go too far deep into what Legendary had anything to do with it because I know that uh, it wasn't meant, they weren't meant to be involved in it because they weren't, okay, like the cut things down short, it was competition. And uh, let, me, let me just get things across here. To rephrase what I said on Twitter, back in uh, the, the early 2010s or probably back in 2009, even back in 2008 maybe, I wanted to make my own monster movies. Or probably first starting with just uh, a monster movie, a single monster movie, and all of a sudden it blew up to a ton. And this was back during a time where also there were a bunch of kaiju movies under production in the United States and soon all over the world. I think, I'm not sure. I don't know my own history anymore, or that I, that I probably knew about back then, but, but anyway. And then there was, uh, it was my own monster movie, Bear Gorus. But before that happened, I had my own monster named Demon Ben. And that was shot down by trolls because of how terrible the story was. And I told it to a famous YouTuber, not going to say who, because it's going to be, we, we, uh, it's going to bring back hard memories. So anyway, so... There's there's more to the story, so I'm going to see more of it if you want me to, but I'm not going to say it anyway. Barry Gorris was my first movie ever. It started out as just, just trying to make a monster movie. It was butchered, obviously. I've said it a thousand times. And I've really tried to make it into a bigger movie, and now it's become what it is now. But that's not important. The important thing is, is what's happening with... Uh, with uh, what I'm trying to explain with Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, I may have gone a little bit too deep with my own thing, but what's going on with Godzilla vs. Kong here is that what I believe is, uh, is uh, ever since the beginning, you know, the MonsterVerse, I, my, in, my involvement with uh, competition against them. Now, like I've said, I've, I've, uh, I've made my own monster movie, and this is during the time when then when uh when when almost other monster movies were being made and they were huge more huge than mine and you can see what i wanted here i wanted to, i thought they stole my thunder that's what was going on i thought they were stealing my thunder like i said on twitter i don't know if you caught up on those tweets but they, that's what i was saying i felt they were stealing my thunder and i'm sorry that i've been been doing that back then some people have been catching up with up on this, and I feel like I've been, I've been wrong to do this. It was like bullying within itself, and I've been doing, and I've been dealing with that back then, bullies, and I just, uh, it was hard for me to deal with. Seriously, I just, uh, that was not the reason why I was picking on, on legendary. It was just something that I have been, it was just something that was coincidental. It was not meant to be intended. It was just something that I was really dealing with back then. I just didn't. Didn't really want to pick on Legendary, but it was just unintentional. So, I really take responsibility for that. Now, the only other thing I want to talk about is Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, it's a really, really entertaining movie. I gotta admit that. They really did a good job on everything. But the only thing I have to have to, have to get concerned about is is one scene with... uh looks similar to my own. Is uh, the doll... The Kong doll. You see, I made my own movie. Well, I already said that. But what I'm trying to say is the movie uh, that I made currently is the same thing, basically. But it actually has a significant scene, which probably is probably copied by Legendary. Now, I'm probably just making this up in my head. Or maybe I'm just... Because the scenes look too darn similar because of the... Because of the... um, Because how they both look. And take a look at yourself. Uh, 
both this scene and this scene look pretty similar, don't they? I haven't made several videos on this, but yeah, I think you probably get the idea. And uh, I hope you all understand what's going on here. And, uh, well, I don't even understand what's going on anymore. There are several other instances I believe that the, my movie was furthermore copied, but you can see near these other pictures that this movie had, had more to be copied, and you can probably see it here. So, I don't know. So, uh, so I don't know. I just felt like expressing this. But there's more to the story than that. I'm going to express it right now again. Not again, but there's more. Again, I'm going to express more of the story. That's what I meant to say. So, basically, um, there's, there's more story. I'll get to the point. I think what must have caused them to see this was when I met... Kenpachiyo Satsuma back in uh, 2014, after the movie had come out. The first Godzilla legendary movie had come out in 2014. And I had met him at Big All Comic Fest. This was... Uh, and I was still making my second version of Baragoras because after a, a dispute... Not a dispute. Uh, after a, after some... some uh, after some disagreements with my... Pers so producers, and not really producers, but they're actually a, a co co uh, co. Uh, I don't know what they are. They're just co co filmmakers. I decided to just to split and make my own version of the movie, and, and I think they must have taken inspiration from that version after they 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 were after I think Toho was given the poster by me. Uh, it was actually for Sir Satsuma, but it was. Was, I don't think uh, I don't think you, I don't think it was intended for Toho. It was just meant for him. But I think they must have taken inspiration from my second version of the movie. Even but they must have seen it on YouTube. It was in Japanese, the poster itself. So I, I did use a Google Translate to translate. They must have read it really well. It must have been very good Japanese because it was in it was a uh, only from Google. So Google Translate. So it was pretty strange. They actually managed to find find it really good. But it wasn't updated, so I must, and it, because the casting was different back then, so I'm not even, not even sure. But, but there were some scenes, some scenes in my movie, some things from, from both my movie and their movie that were probably similar, as you can probably see in these images too. So I'm, I'm getting temporary tired of talking about this. I might as well just let you judge for yourself what looks similar, what probably is coincidence. So, I'll, so you can probably also, I just don't almost forget. I mean, uh, before I forget, uh, you can probably see some of these responses. Um, my friend and I were, um, uh, were, were, were discussing Godzilla vs. Kong. And we, we can see that, uh, you can see that, um, he was, he noticed some of the similarities too. So you can probably see how we felt about it. Well, probably he probably how I felt about it. And he, just, he can probably joke around. He can just, he was joking around about it. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I was just... I still have to take responsibility for my actions. I understand how the world might feel against me, no matter how much I apologize. Like I've said on Twitter, so I don't know. So go ahead, feel mad, troll me, or whatever. Uh, whatever. Goodbye. Oh, uh, this before I forget, I did contact uh, you know who about about the plagiarism kind of thing, but it's not meant to be harassment. As it really isn't. I'm just just trying to contact them and see if they cop, ask politely about about the about concerns over copying my work, and they said unsolicited. Uh, unsolicited. That's that's pretty much it. They said they they said, please don't approach us. It was unsolicited, and works featuring the characters. And I think you know who I'm talking. I'll just. I think you know who I'm talking about. As with this next next example, who else I contacted, um, Adam Wingard because, because uh, as soon as I contacted him, this is with the same tone politeness, he deleted his Instagram account. Yeah, you can probably tell why that happened. I'm not gonna say why, but yeah, you know, yeah, I, I I could say I get I I think that's why it, that's why it, that happened. The other other reasons I'm trying to really provide, but I'm, I can't really say also why because it's gonna 
concerned rumors. I'm not gonna. I don't want to spread rumors. Excuse me, spread rumors. I don't want to spread rumors. Honestly, I'm just trying to give guesses. This is just. These are just guesses and my own assumptions. They're not meant to spread rumors. Honestly, so please forgive me if I ever cause any trouble for anyone. So thank you and uh, good night. As of uh, the time this video was posted, of course. Also, what oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, one more thing. If you ever see a scene from the original King Kong vs. Godzilla, please compare if there was ever a scene with uh, a little girl holding up a doll to either Kong or Godzilla, please, or even a giant monster at all. Compare a scene or any scene like that from Godzilla vs. Kong to King Kong vs. Godzilla, then see what my and see if my point is proven. I'm not trying to accuse Legendary of plagiarism. I'm just seeing... I just want you to see if my point is proven. That's all. I just don't want you to think I'm just lying. Or I'm trying to accuse them. Or just to continue bullying them. That's all. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I really gotta go to bed. Okay, good night.